how to update your colors in Squarespace. Now this one is for templates using Squarespace 7.1. Um, I know 7.0 is slightly different, but all of our templates, at least if you're using one of ours, work with this. Um, but yeah, let's get started. Okay, so we are on the main page with the dashboard opened. So we are going to click design and go to the second option and hit colors. So you are going to have a few different options here and I will walk you through them. One, you can, you have a color palette. So this is kind of your main palette. So you can hit edit. And here you can pick and choose different colors. And oftentimes these correspond to different colors on your page. Um, so you can just kind of play around with it. Um, and you can play with picking colors from here or adding a hex code. Let's say it's, I don't even know what I'm gonna try, but let's do that. Okay, um, so you can type in your number if you have your brand colors, you can type it in, um, choose whatever colors you like. So you will have your custom colors there. Um, oh. Now, when you click this, little, this bottom arrow, you have a couple other options. So one, you can get colors from a color. So let me click. Um, and this is gonna give you a couple color options. So you have monochrome, complementary, analog, analog two. And this is gonna help pick, let's say you want purple. You can see that these now start to change to fit either a monochrome look or a complementary look. Um, and so if there's one color that you know, like this is has to be included, but you don't know what other what other colors would look good in that palette, this will kind of help you out. Um, okay, you could choose or pick a color palette from an image. So you can drop an image or you can click to browse. I'm gonna just quickly pick a color or pick a photo. And so it's gonna pull all the colors from that photo. Um, and so, and then it's going to like place them accordingly. Um, and then you, they also provide designer palettes, which are preset palettes if you want to choose one from there. So again, you have custom colors, you can pick from a color from an image or designer palette. Um, and this all are to different ways of getting a brand color palette. Again, if you already have your brand together, then just pick custom colors. Now, you then also have section themes. Oh. And I'm, okay, so I'm gonna discard my changes just because I like the palette that I had. But it's gonna go to section themes. So on here you'll have different color themes that correspond with individual sections. So as you'll see on this page, you have white minimal, uh, light minimal, um, light minimal. I tend to pick roughly like one or two of them because that kind of tends to work um, with my designs. But if you need multiple sections, then this is the way you can do so. Um, and you can go to, and click edit. And here you'll have a lot more customization purposes on what individual um, section will be changed. One thing to note is these options are going to correspond again with the section or the theme that you have. 
So if you change this to a different color theme, you're not going to see this option right here. Um, one thing I would say is to keep most of this pretty basic and clean and simple. It doesn't have to be super crazy or it doesn't have to have a whole lot of colors. If you have one heading or, you know, you might have one or two different colors, but all of them should roughly be the same, especially for that set for that section. Um, again, um, this is going to allow you to have a much cleaner design, um, but you can make changes. So um, let's choose this one. Let's say we want them to be yellow. And then you can see that it's going to update this navigation link. You also have the option to, again, add a custom color if that is what you prefer. I'm going to go back and change it. Now, you do have like light minimal, so I'll show you this. So you have this light minimal, so let's say you want this color. I'm not entirely sure what um, heading. Okay, there we go. So then this heading is going to change the color for here. So you can kind of just play with this, make sure that all of them fit the branding that you need and the color palette that you kind of want. Um, again, once you are ready, you can just hit save and it will save it throughout your site. So that's pretty much a rundown of Squarespace colors. Again, this is for 7.1 and it works for all of our templates. Um, you can always just simply swap these out for the colors of your brand if you have that or choose another palette and it'll, it'll really help uh, to create the look throughout the site. Um, yeah, okay, so that's uh, Squarespace colors.